so far I've marked uh, where I'm going to drill holes for my net pots every four inches and I've left a six inch gap at the bottom for the reservoir. I'm going to try to build a self-containing hydroponic system. Uh, I'm just about to mark a second column here. So just with the on the vertical lines there's 24 pots for the whole the whole system and then I think doing another column here should double that which would give me 48 and here we have the finished product well the finished marked product anyway we're gonna use the top of the bin which fits down there really snugly we're gonna put up a faucet system up here so that it basically the water gets fed in through a pump in the bottom, up through a hose in the top, and basically dribbles out here. And then we're gonna drill holes around the edges here so that it drips down onto our pots, which are hanging on the side. And that's the basic idea. We'll see what happens as we go through it today. Here's the potential hydroponic system all marked up. They're spaced out every four inches and we're going to be using a 22 millimeter drill bit to drill in circular holes uh, and then we're going to use a heat gun to pull that out. So we finished drilling all the holes. You can see here. There's uh, 36, I believe. We haven't done the last level yet because I don't know how high a water level we need yet because um, I've ordered a, an aquarium pump and I don't know how much water it has to be submerged in. But you can see it's just a regular garbage bin. This is the bottom. And I've already installed the tap system here. But we're actually going to, because we're using a drip system to try to water our hydroponic plants, We've sanded down the edge so that it fits fits in nice and tight, hopefully. Nice and tight upside down, the lid on top of the garbage bin. And then we've kind of put together our own little Frankenstein system. So I, I bought a, a regular tap that you use, use in your bathrooms. It has a two, two spout thing so that we can turn on the water flow. So basically the idea is that we're going to have to drill holes all along the edge here to match kind of the holes that we've drilled in our in the sides of our bins. We still have to heat up the side here, the bottom part, and we're going to use a dowel to pry that open a bit so that our pots can sit in at a 45 degree angle. And then this lid, when we turn it on, um, we just use an O-ring and then this really simple garden hose connector. And I don't have the other piece that's outside somewhere. But there's a piece for that fits in your garden hose and your, it just clips right in there. And the garden hose is going to run all the way down the middle uh, of the bin. So you're going to have your reservoir of your water down at the bottom with your nutrient water. And with your aquarium pump submerged in there, you're going to be able to pump the water up through here. It's going to basically dribble out of here and then kind of cascade waterfall here where you've drilled your holes. That's the plan. Hopefully it worked. We just spent the last hour using a heat gun here. And then basically we have a wooden stick that we usually use to fight off unwanted dogs uh, to pull out a little lip there in the side. And we've only done the bottom row because it took an hour. It's quite an interesting process because we're not using PVC like most people on the internet. But now you see there's our little pots. So they seem to go in at a pretty decent angle. Oh, I can get off my old knees. They seem to go in a pretty decent angle. So that should be what it looks like when they're all done. Hopefully.